What causes Alzheimer's disease? Bizarrely, I'm actually less certain about the answer now than I was when I started med school, which, incidentally, is the most frequent complaint that trainees have about my rotation. Historically and histologically, Alzheimer's disease has been characterized by beta amyloid plaques and tau tangles, which are thought to act like toxic sacks of garbage piling up inside neurons. So, do these have anything to do with the disease? Well, yes, it turns out they do. The gene for the precursor of beta amyloid, also known as amyloid precursor protein, lives on chromosome 21. As such, Down syndrome patients all have extra copies of the gene for amyloid precursor protein, and if they live long enough, most Down syndrome patients develop early onset Alzheimer's disease. Furthermore, there's a protein called apolipoprotein E that normally helps to break down beta amyloid. The E4 allele and corresponding protein are known to be less effective at breaking down beta amyloid, so carriers are at increased risk for developing Alzheimer's. Now, that sounds like to me, but it turns out that therapies targeting beta amyloid have all failed miserably. Even efforts to make vaccines against beta amyloid haven't panned out. Naturally, this has led to intense speculation as to why. I don't pretend to have the answer, but allow me to offer you two possibilities. Number one, it may be that damage occurring during Alzheimer's disease is insidious and occurs over the span of decades. Hopefully the concept of an initially asymptomatic disease that has devastating consequences if left untreated is nothing new to you. But that means if we want to prevent Alzheimer's disease, we'd basically need to start treating you right now. Yes, you. Give me your arm. Number two, plaques and tangles may be mere bystanders. Imagine you're at the Alawai, and you see a bunch of dead fish. If you remove the fish, then that'll make the water safe again, right? No, there's probably something wrong with the water, and removing beta amyloid plaques may be like just removing the dead fish. You may not be addressing the real problem. As a result of this uncertainty, there are a lot of relatively new theories flying around regarding the etiologies and risk factors for Alzheimer's disease. Some researchers refer to Alzheimer's disease as type 3 diabetes mellitus. Some blame herpes simplex. Some people blame tofu. There's this new gingivitis theory. Unfortunately, while we're still working out the science, the major risk factor for Alzheimer's disease for most of the general population is age which is why Alzheimer's disease didn't have a name until the 20th century. So remember, kids, don't get old. Jimmy, why are my evaluations getting worse?